Tonight, stuck at a standstill. A commuter nightmare when a dump truck slammed into a barrier. A six hour lane closure in Seattle, nine months after a so called traffic czar was hired to avoid messes like these. New at six, Cairo 7 brings your commuting concerns directly to those tasked to keep you moving. Well, the accident happened just before 8.30 this morning, and the bridge didn't fully reopen till this afternoon. And good evening again. I'm Steve Rabel. And I'm Monique Minglovin, and Cairo 7's Deborah Horn is live now in Seattle. Deborah, there were actually two more accidents on the bridge. Monique, the second accident was actually at 1.30 in the afternoon. The third accident was at 2 o'clock. But as you can see by the traffic that is moving, the West Seattle Bridge is back open. But a lot of people are asking whether taxpayers are getting their money's worth with the traffic czar earning nearly $200,000 a year. Even West Seattle drivers who managed to avoid this traffic mess heard about it. This commuter says he got around it by leaving for work two and a half hours earlier. Yeah, I've lived out here for nearly 20 years, so I've gotten caught in them more than once. I just leave early now. Cairo 7 traffic reporter Tracy Taylor heard on Twitter from those who weren't so fortunate. I was late and then gave up 30 minutes in and went home, wrote Joey Jones. Just as he says, fights were breaking out. Another driver said it took 40 minutes to drive from Delridge to California Avenue. We had a Jersey barrier damaged. Uh, it was a commercial vehicle. It was a dump truck that was was impacted. SDOT chief Sam Zimbabwe yeah, says there was a mix ground. of factors that made clearing this away difficult. You know, certainly the, the bridge is, is not that accessible, and so there aren't as many ways to get people around that, and so it starts to have a bigger impact on the on the morning commute. Last January, the mayor brought on retired Air Force General Mike Warden as a kind of traffic guru. I, I think the plan is solid. He was supposed to help more quickly clean up these messes and get traffic moving. But questions are being raised about whether Warden is earning his lofty salary. The salary is worthy of a high profile position, and in, as chair of the Transportation Department, it's been extremely low profile. Not to say that doesn't mean work's not happening, but I am not aware of any of the work. Zimbabwe insists Warden is on the job. Uh, General Warden's been very helpful in, in helping us um, work together as agencies and make sure we're coordinated in our response. Now, we did ask him if General Warden was actually working on this today, but Sam Zimbabwe says he wasn't needed because as bad as it was for everybody else who was on the roadway, he says it wasn't the worst traffic they've ever seen. Reporting live in Seattle, Deborah Horn, Cairo 7 News. Well, as Deborah mentioned, Seattle hired the traffic czar after crashes like this one when a fish truck overturned on the Highway 99 viaduct and traffic was tied up for hours. Now, shortly after that crash, changes came to how the Seattle Police Department and transportation workers clear those crashes. A report showed that SPD and the DOT were unprepared, failed to coordinate a response, and should have cleared the roads after paramedics left. New standards called for cars to be pushed out of the way to get traffic moving quicker. A state law protects Department of Transportation workers from liability if they damage vehicles when pushing them out of the way.